Hello, <clears throat> and welcome to Rose Play, Season 22, Episode 21. As always, I'm your host, Orion Moon Rose, and today we'll be continuing the Let's Play of Final Fantasy 16 on the Final Fantasy difficulty. So last time we made it into Phoenix Gain, we were traveling down, and, well, we still haven't gotten out of here. So, you know, let's see if we can do that. I think both sides are potions. So we're going to hold those off until after we get done with both sides. Because, if I remember correctly, enemies are going to appear in both sides. Oh, God, an Undertaker. And that hurt, by the way. But eh, it is what it is. That's why I didn't use the potion. If I would have known that he was going to do that, though, I would have, um... Keep your distance, boy. Well, we are, uh, just wrecking him, aren't we? Oh. No, I think the Undertaker's underscrewed, but, you know, we'll see. Yeah, he's not getting back up from that. He was trying! No avail, though. Oh, and they even gave a potion. Nice. What have we here? Another fallen wonder. Never too many of those, is there? I mean, I'll, I'll get it now, but... Yeah, see, I kind of figured. Now the other side. All right. Well, hello, Mr. Spectre. Oh, you're 53? Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm 56. You guys might be just a little bit screwed. Uh, eh. It's whatever. Oh, cool. All right, we are good to go, aren't we? Well, that did something. I think it's opened up our pathway, but honestly, I don't know. It's been a couple hours since we got that far. Like I said, that's how we get across. I was not wrong in this. So... It isn't a dead end after all. Are you sure, though? Apparently not. How would you think it was a dead end, though? It 
seems to lead to this room. Yeah, I'm kind of scared though because we just got a high potion. Like, is there a big enemy coming? I don't remember. What do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? Probably more. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. What do you think? Oh, now I remember. Oh, boy. You're him. The second dominant of fire. Technically, wouldn't that make him the third because you're Ifrit? I mean, actually, that makes sense since we didn't know that we were Ifrit, but, you know. What? I, I'm back. Yeah, and you're kicking his... Joshua! Ooh. Stop it. Well, you didn't listen the first time. Why would you now? Oh, he grabbed him by the beak. Or at least a part of you did, hence the, uh, yeah. Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. And I murdered him. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Clive. Well, hello, Joshua. I do like that they're able to incorporate the new gear and whatnot into the cutscenes. Not just go back to the old gear, so... Major props to him for that, for sure. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. Yeah, but you didn't even know it was you. I feared the body, accepting it. I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace.
Huh. The passing of the torch. More or less. Um, he sees us. Remember to help me to the truth that awaits me. I will press on. Come, Ifrit. Show me who you truly are. You. We just went through this, Clive. Also, why? Why are we trying to beat a huge beast? I mean, it's working. I mean, it's working quite well. I mean, that did work pretty well, didn't it? Wow, it, it uh... Yay! Bahamut again! No, thank you! Yeah, no, that was bad. I should have uh, started getting out of there, but apparently I chose better. Ooh, staggered. Yay! I mean, am I go going after a foot, or, or what's going on there? Yeah. Eh, either way, it took him out. Didn't need to heal. <laughs> Shouldn't sure have survived, but that's a different story. Did you really think it was just going to be you? But I, I love that he has the other armor. So now we know the difference. Still you deny it. Even when the truth's staring right at you. Yeah, no, you just said, who are you? So why? Come on. Yeah. Face your fears. Too slow. Too slow, so sad. Oh, well, I was gonna, you know. Oh, well, I think he's about to be, uh, semi staggered. See? Oh, 
darn. We missed the Xanazu skin, but whatever. Oof. Good, you're staggered. Because we're doing poorly there. Is this all you're gonna do? I was like, come on, that was it? Seriously? There we go. That'll do a little bit of damage. Yeah, you can do it too. You've been doing it all game. I know this is where you learn it, but still. <laughs> I don't even know where you fully are. There you are. I mean, I might learn from example if I can get it up there. Ouch. No, thank you. Yeah, Clive likes little uh, attacks. There we go. That'll help heal a little bit. Are you talking to him or yourself? I know you're talking about Odin, but still. Well, at least we got him about halfway down. That's something at least. Yeah, I remember this one. I learned from it. Yeah, you use Hellfire. I'll use Bahamut's Blast. Baja Blast. Uh, not this time at all. Uh-oh. You know, it's been so long since we've had a... Uh, attack, counter, whatever. I kind of forgot what the buttons are. It's time to no let go. Escape, eh? No! You gotta fess up and man up, man. Come on.
together. Then. It's time to find out who we are. Once and for all. Oh, good. So now we get to activate it. Accept the truth. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Now what you gonna do? Ah. Uh... Well, that sucked. But we got infinite health, so or infinite um, whatever they want to call this, we got it. So really, there's almost no way to lose. Unless he really screws us over. Hopefully we can beat him. Zanazuskin always does good, so... There can't be much left to him, though, right? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Are you going back to Ifrit? Aw, oh, could Baby not take it? I mean, I defeated you with the Ifrit form. What makes you think I can't do it a second time? By time. You are not afraid. I am. Okay, so you thought you could beat me in that form again, but now I'm you. What you gonna do? Ooh. Okay, well, I remember that one at least. Are you even going to be able to do anything, my dude? Because it looks like we are just wrecking you. Nice. That is an awesome finish. Not gonna lie. Shadow Vanquished. Not enough to gain a level, though, but pretty darn close. So happy about that. F flawless Fire Shod. Okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> this is pretty much all we're gonna be able to do this episode. Was finish that small little section and then have this huge boss fight. Oh, well, it is what it is. Yes, mom. You will be sorry. Well, what you have some kind of medium? Limitless power, huh? <laughs> we'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Clive, are you all right? Jeff. I've seen better days. <laughs> it's nothing. I'll be fine. Just kind of had an inner battle with myself. Three times. <laughs> Can
Can we get out of here now? I'm ready to go. That's what I'm imagining Clive is thinking. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. No, oh, a hooded man isn't here. We know there is a hooded man, though. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. Okay. I went into my mind, had a fight with myself three times. Uh, he explains the rest of the story. Why am I in an insane asylum? You know why, Clive. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Clive. No, it's it's a truth. I mean, I wasn't I in control so and didn't know what happened. Night, and destroyed so many more, including yours. Hmm. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. Yeah, I've accepted the truth. Even exist. I didn't. And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. I mean, yes, yeah, it was right with that. Answers together. I want to learn the truth too. Well, then together it is. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. Aw, that's well sweet. To hide from the truth, even when we were young, and you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. I mean... And yet... They're what brought us back together. I... Did you really have a choice too? If he is here, then the disturbance I felt at the care must have been me as well. Confounding. The hour is later than I thought. Okay, good sir. Meanwhile, the story continues. Okay. The man who delivered, who, who delivered the coffer said, he said Sid paid him. I'm gonna have to steal from Seven here. What's in the box? What's in the box? No, seriously though, I still yet to figure this out. There's a coffer size sent to Hugo, and we know it's Benedicta's something. Is it her ashes? Did she turn to ash like they're supposed to? Did Sid seriously skim off? 
and cut off her head and put it in the box? Like, I do not understand what is going on here. I want to feel that it's her ashes. But the box is the size of a head. And how else would he know that it's Benedicta's? There's just far too many questions. And uh, the biggest one is why would Sid do that regardless? <sighs> See, how does he know? I, I do feel bad for him in this scene, since he did apparently love her, at least from what we've seen, but... Benedicta. Yeah, but... What's in there? Oh boy, the meaning of life. Yeah, it's not to put somebody's head into a box! So, what next? We return to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again, about Lady Hannah amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. All right, we should arrange an introduction then. That's not what I want first. Obviously, nothing's going on there. Whoops. And it looks like I can't do anything. Can I at least check it out to see if anything new is going on now? All right. We will go ahead and leave it here for this episode. When we come back, we will never find out what's in the box fully. <laughs> but we'll return to town and talk with Lady Hannah and the mayor and hopefully bring her back to the hideaway. But... Until next time, remember, keep gaming, never give up. And I'm so curious about what was sent to Hugo. Was it a, a nod to Seven? Just far too many questions. <sighs>